you ever in a situation where you need to do a force regen on your Volvo or Mack truck but couldn't, you had to tow your truck to a nearest dealer or find a shop that had the premium tech tool and that's hard to do, well today I'm going to show you how to simply do it with our DTC AFT reset tool that's forced regen enabled. We're going to do this procedure on a 2009 Volvo with a V13 engine. We got the truck outside and we're going to initiate a force regen. First thing we got to do is we're going to have the truck running at operating temperature over 160 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to have to have the parking brake engaged and the PTO switch on the off position. We're going to plug in the module and after four minutes the force regen will initiate. Why would you need to run a regen? Regen is required when the DPF filter is full and it's necessary to do a regen to clean out the filters. Normally you initiate a park regen with a switch on the dash, but sometimes if you're past that threshold, you won't be able to do it. There are four different levels of regen. The first level is regen required. Second level is regen necessary. Third level is engine D-rate, park region required. And the fourth level is engine D-rate, soot critically high, and you need to do a force region. Normally to do the force region, you gotta take this to the truck to the dealer, and they'll be able to initiate a force region. Well now you can simply use our tool to initiate this force region, get the filters cleaned up, and be ready to go. Saving you on a lot of downtime, towing bills and just it's very simple and anybody can do this procedure on their own. When you take the truck to the dealer to do a force regen, it normally costs anywhere from two to five hundred dollars just so they can hook up their laptop and do, initiate the force regen. But to get to the dealer, sometimes it can cost you thousands of dollars just to get it towed and who knows where the truck is located. With this tool, you can keep it in your truck, and whatever you're at, it doesn't matter. If it asks you for a force region, you simply plug it in, initiates a force region, let it do its thing. It takes about anywhere from 40 to 60 minutes, depending on the soot level that's in the filter. So the region just started. The RPM went to about 12 to 1300 RPMs, and on the cluster it says region in progress. On the bottom left of the cluster, we got the DPF temperature light on, which means that the DPF filter is getting really hot, so it's to be able to burn off the soot. So the region just finished, we're going to let the truck idle so it can cool down because the DPF filter is very hot. We're going to disconnect our reset tool and uh, that's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, let us know. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our website otrperformance.com for more information. Till next time, keep hauling.